Hi guys! For the last couple classes in Fundamentals of Nutrition, we have been talking about vitamins. Oh my goodness, guys, vitamins are so important for us. <laughs> they have so much to do with our cell function, uh, the health of our DNA, how we regenerate our cells, uh, brain function, how quickly we heal from wounds and surgery, our skin health, our eye health, our digestive tract, so much. And here's why it might be difficult to get them solely from our, to get enough solely from our food. Because the our food is only as nutrient dense as the soil it's grown in. And this is something that I've talked about in previous videos. Our soil simply isn't as nutrient dense as it was 40 years ago, 20 years ago even, especially if we're going non organic because a lot of the conventional farming practices aren't going to be caring for the soil as much as they should be. Sure, they're putting fertilizer back in, they're, they're adding some of the nutrients back in, but the thing is we need a lot more than some nutrients to thrive. So for this reason, I suggest a good quality multivitamin and a multivitamin made from whole foods. And I'll talk about a couple brands that I know of at the end of the video. The first vitamins that I'll talk about are the fat soluble vitamins. Now what that means is that they can accumulate in the body and we can hold on to them in the fat cells. And this is why you want to be careful about high dosing with single, like picking out single vitamins. And it's going to be better to just have an all around multivitamin for insurance purposes. Uh, unless you know that you're super low in a particular vitamin and that's going to come from a blood test. So go get your vitamin levels checked if you want to start high dosing with certain vitamins. And make sure that you're getting a whole food supplement. Make sure that you're not going for the, the synthetic ones because that's going to be where you uh, danger on um, overdosing. Except by overdosing I mean getting a headache. <laughs> or um, nausea, because those are most of the toxicity symptoms when it comes to vitamins. All right, so vitamin A is the first of our fat soluble vitamins. It's gonna come from things like carrot, spinach, uh, butter, good quality grass fed butter, eggs, and fish liver oil. Hmm. The functions of vitamin A have to do with so much about eyesight. If we're really deficient in vitamin A, then we're gonna see things like cataracts later on in life. And presently speaking, it can prevent inflammation and irritation of the eye. Also, uh, the growth and tissue healing, uh, our, the way our tissue grows and heals, and wound healing, and healthy skin. Know anyone that has bumps on the back of their arms, those those like hard bumps, that's vitamin A deficiency. Mm -hmm. Vitamin A is also a potent antioxidant and it helps you to see in the dark. Vitamin D, vitamin D is very important. It's more like a hormone than a vitamin. It speaks to, it influences over 2000 genes in the body. That's crazy. Influences over 2,000 genes in the body. Vitamin D regulates calcium and phosphorus in the body. It comes from the sun and we actually need cholesterol in order to synthesize vitamin D. I'll do a whole other video on cholesterol. Hmm, I think that a lot of the information we have on health and nutrition comes from food companies and their marketing team. Pity. Cholesterol is actually very important for us. Uh, vitamin D also it regulates the inflammatory response and the inflammation in our body and it can also decrease autoimmune activity. Hmm. Vitamin D is going to come from things like sardines, um, egg yolk, again fish liver oil and mushrooms also have vitamin D. Vitamin E is another potent antioxidant and it's going to protect your cells. It helps with cell respiration and helping your cells breathe. Uh, helps with helps with cardiovascular disease and that's going to have a lot to do with it being 
is such a potent antioxidant because it allows uh, your heart and your muscles to breathe properly and also tissue oxygenation uh, and regeneration. Vitamin E is going to come from a lot of the oils of nuts and seeds. So avocado, sunflower oil, olive oil, almonds, hazelnut. Yum. And then last but not least, vitamin K. Vitamin K is great for blood clotting and also bone growth and bone building. Uh, it's going to come from kale, spinach, the leafy greens, also grass-fed dairy and things like sauerkraut. It is made in the intestinal bacteria, uh, the bacteria in our, in our gut. So if we're taking a lot of antibiotics or we've just taken a, a big round of antibiotics for something, that's wiped out our gut flora. So you want to take a good quality probiotic to replenish that gut flora so that it can help make your vitamin K. And it also helps to make a lot of other B vitamins. This is another one that's gonna have a preventative role in cardiovascular disease and also osteoporosis. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer. That is number one cause of death, cardiovascular disease. So vitamins are super important guys and it's, it's pretty difficult to, to get them all from food. So taking a, a good quality multivitamin, one of the brands that I really like is Garden of Life and they have a particular line called My Kind Organics, although I've only ever found it in the States. So for my friends over in the US, My Kind Organics makes a fantastic multivitamin that is made from food. Also Mega Foods makes a very reputable multivitamin made from whole foods. Happy healing. Thanks for watching guys.